Okay, guys, this is day two of credit four, your Excel credit. Uh, we're on page 10 of your packet here. This, this is a practice says, open a new Excel workbook. You're going to create a weekly schedule for yourself using Excel and the fill handle tool. If you know what the fill handle tool is, you're going to find out in a second. You should also probably take a look at that tutorial you're supposed to be uh, reading before we do these things. All right. So we're going to open up Excel once again. Boom. All right, there's Excel. We're going to open our blank workbook. And what's our next set of instructions? I'm going to move these over here so I can read them and uh, work at the same time. I don't have to be switching back and forth. Uh, in cell B1, type Monday. Okay, I can do that. There's B1. I'm going to type Monday. Now, select the cell. All right, it's selected. Now we're going to use our fill handle tool. Okay, so see how it's a big white plus and then it changes to a smaller, skinnier black plus. We click on that corner and then we drag Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Look at that. Didn't have to type a thing, it did it all for you. Okay. Now, in cell A2, type 8 o'clock. Okay, good. Yeah. All right, now again, fill handle tool. See that little, see how there's a tiny uh, triangle in the corner of the cell there? So you go there, click on it, and then drag down 9, 10, 11. Now you notice how it changes to 13 o'clock here because it goes to military time. So we're going to stop right here and then we're going to reset it. Um, so once we get to noon, we're going to release it. And then in this, I'm going to type in 1 o'clock because we don't want it in military time. Uh, unless you work in military time, then, you know, rock on. But uh, just do it this way for the sake of uh, this assignment. And we're going to go all the way down until we get to 8 o'clock, uh, which will leave us at A14. All right, now that's it's as simple as that. Uh, you didn't have to type a thing, and it got all nice and formatted. Uh, we go File. We're going to save it in our Excel projects folder on our flash drive. So here we go, Excel projects up to the top. And we're going to call it schedule, which is schedule. There we go. And we save it. Boom. And that's it for that. All right, now let's take a look at the next uh, assignment here. We're going to go down a page page 11 and says open up your schedule select the days of the week and change them to 14 point font okay cool we can do that boom 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 up here at the top where it says 11 we're changing it to 14. all right use the double arrow oh change the font style to Arial black okay that's my favorite font style Arial black all right now we're going to go up here in between see how okay the cursor is uh white cross changes to this kind of funky looking cross with arrows on either side. We're going to double click and that's going to automatically space these out to what they need to be. We can also manually make these bigger or smaller, but I like to just double click because it auto sizes it to be just big enough. There we go. Perfect. Okay, what do we need to do next? Insert two rows at the top of the spreadsheet at row one and two. Okay, so I'm going to select these two rows right here and I'm going to click insert oh look got two new rows all right cool I'm gonna go to cell B1 right there and I'm going to type my weekly schedule my weekly schedule there we go I didn't okay now I'm gonna merge and center E1 and B1 we go here, merge and center. Boom. Change it to 14 point Bauhaus 93. All right, we're going to go to 14 point font here, and we're going to change this to a Bauhaus 93. There you go, for my weekly schedule. We're going to change the font color to purple just to make it funky and fresh. All right, and from there, we're going to put a thick box border around it. Okay, we're still here on my weekly schedule. We go here to the border option. We're going to put a box border around that whole thing. Uh, and we're going to change 
the fill for each day of the week's column to one of the colors of the rainbow. So we're going to go Roy G. Bibb on this sucker. So we're going to go red here. And okay, so this is for typing and this is for the actual cell, the fill color. So we'll do this one red. We'll do this one orange. I want a better color orange. Let's go with the, uh, yeah, yeah. That's one fine, that'll work. Orange, yellow, Roy, G for green. Blue, indigo, which is uh, like a lighter purple. So we're going to see what we can find for that. We'll go to more colors here. Let's put that in. That's close enough to indigo. And then we'll do violet, which is a dark purple. Like that. There we go. That's good enough. All right, guys. And then we're going to save it to our flash drive. Boom, we're done. So we just hit the save key. And that is it for your day two assignment. I uh, hope it helped and good luck with the class.